What is happening everybody, Crazy Marsh Kid here. In this video, we are going to be reviewing Gotham Season 4, Episode 21, entitled One Bad Day. Now, this is, Episode 21 is the, um, the 20, uh, Episode 22 is the final, the, the finale season for Gotham Season 4, and, uh, yeah, it will not be coming back for a fifth season. It will be rebooting the series, I believe. So, it'll be introducing some new characters. We'll still get the old cast and uh, all that jazz. So, but as far as, like, if they're going to renew it, I think they're rebooting the series, or that, at least that's what they say they're doing. And I know I'm late for... I, I'm late on the Gotham Express train. Woo! Woo! I know. it's This is my first ever review for Gotham. So... Picked a, picked a pretty, um, uh, a weird time to do, <laughs> to do a review, but, uh, you know, I felt like I needed to say something about this, so, um, I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be any, in any particular order, I'm just gonna be jumping around and what scenes caught me and what scenes I didn't like and what, you know, what I initially think about the show. Anyway, let's get into it. So, um, the, uh, the... Jerome, Jer, not Jer, Jerome, yes, Jerome Velasquez's death in episode 20, or not, episode, yes, episode 20, uh, you know, he died, all that good jazz, now his brother is taking over. Was that 20 or was that 21? I don't know, okay. Ugh. Anyway, um, he died, and his brother is now taking over as, you know, the, this more classy, you know, classy, Joker-esque, the one that we saw Jack, Nichol Jack Nicholson portray. I mean, he's still crazy, but he's more, you know, more of a, like a, he's got the businessman suit on, looking like, sort of like a, um, like a crazy, psychotic Michael Jackson thriller. Ooh! You know, um, so, uh, he's got the hat, he's got the shades, he's got the, you know, the pale face and the lipstick and, you know, all that good stuff. And he's just a good, he. Cameron Monaghan does a perfect job as being this character. Like, he does. He portrays it very, very well. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need more of that. And that's another thing I like about the show, is how they introduced the Joker. Because the Joker was, that was that was a very clever way to do it. Um, so, they did two, actually, I think they did, I don't know, I don't know how many, how many freaking versions they did of this guy, but they did of so many. It's, it's hard for me to, you know... God, it's it's hard to keep track, but they did so many versions of the, of the Joker, and you know I just I, I enjoyed it. I enjoy I enjoyed all of them, every single one of them, you know. Um, speaking of Joker esque stuff, the scene with Bruce and Selena and Wayne Manor and she got shot was pulled straight out of the Killing Joke comic book. Oh my gosh, like that was such a thing. Like, after they get done making out or whatever, he gets up, or she gets up, or they hear his voice, he comes in the room, has the gun pointed at Selena's, you know, side, shoots her, she flies back, lands on the table, breaks, you know, some uh, champagne or scotch or whatever that was, and just lies there. And lies there. Like, she is lying there, and I'm just like... What? I can't, like, I can't, uh, mind blown. It was a shocker. It was kind of an interesting thing for me to see because I was like, that's amazing. Like, that's blew me away. I was like, oh my gosh, they actually put something, like, I was like, what? I wasn't expecting them to do that. Kind of blew my mind. I was like, wow. Mmm. I never got to see that. We always got to see that in the comics and in, the, like, the animated cartoon, but we never actually got to see them do it in live action, and that was one of them, even though it wasn't, even though it wasn't Barbara and Jim Gordon, it was Bruce and Selena, so that was cool. Um, we're gonna get into the hate territory now. I'm hating all of Lee's relationships, okay? Stop doing all the guys. First it was Jim, then it was, um, Maroney, or whatever his name is, and now it's Ed? Ed Nigma? Really? I just hate that dynamic. I hate it so flippin' much. It just, mmm, just rides my rear end. I hate the fact that they're, they're, you know, have a thing for each other. I hate the fact that they're kissing. I don't, I don't like it. It's disgusting, and I'm just like, eh. Like, Ed, find your own woman. Like, leave that woman for Jim. 
you know, um, I always thought, I, I kind of thought Barbara Keen was gonna go, you know, I mean, I'm not saying I don't think Lee is attractive, Lee is a very attractive woman, don't get me wrong, but Ed, really, come on, you could do so much better, so much better, like, oh, it's just, it's just something that bothers me, something that bothers me. Speaking of something that bothers me, this whole penguin rising, falling, rising, falling, it's, it's, you know, it, 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 it's not doing anything for me. It's really not. He's into this whole gang war thing, and I'm just like, dude, you need to, like, I liked it better when Penguin was, like, the club owner of the Iceberg Lounge, and he was also, like, you know, sort of like a gun runner, you know? I enjoy that Penguin, but this Penguin is just, like, it's, I don't know. It's like, they make him, like, they make him really strong at one point, and then they make him really wimpy at the next point, and I'm just like, dude, figure out what you want to do with this character, because this character development on him is terrible. Like, pick something, stay with it, and keep it running. Like, don't, don't change it up. Like, Gotham has changed up, this, changed up so much from the show. Season 1 was wonderful. Season 2 was good. The end of season or midway between season 3, that's when it got a little freaky. Because you're just like, this is great, this is awesome. And then you're just like, okay, now things are taking a weird turn. And I don't know what you're doing. Like, it's just, it, it, it's weird. So, the, uh... Season four is just, it's, I, I don't know. The, the end of season three, the beginning of season four, it's just, it's terrible. It's, it's terrible. Like, there are some things, yes, there are some things in the show that I do like, and there are some things in the show that I absolutely hate. Like, I absolutely hate, like, the whole, um, flipping the Poison Ivy thing, that was ridiculous. That was, that was dumb. I was like, okay, I, I figured they were going to take that character somewhere, but they didn't take her anywhere, and now she's missing, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then Fish Mooney's character got killed off, and I was like, okay, she got, she got killed, so you brought her back. Then we have no idea where Hugo Strange is, um, Penguin knows where Hugo Strange is, and I'm just like, what? And then Butch turned to Solomon Grundy, that was a big, big mess up, and I'm just like, what? Like, I thought that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. I was like, and then they turn him back into Butch. I'm going, really? And another thing is, whenever Bruce is, whenever he got kidnapped and taken to the Himalayas, I was like, yes, now he's going to begin his training. I would have loved to have seen Bruce, like, just disappear. That entire season, just, just disappear. You know? I mean, I get it. He's a, he's a kid. He's young. He should learn how to fight and defend himself. I get that. But he's not Batman. Okay? He's not Batman yet. Like, if there's anything they, that they need to do with Bruce is he needs to learn how to become, like, a business guy. Like, he needs to go to school for business. So that way he knows how to run Wayne Manor. He knows, you know, what he's doing and how he's dealing with things. And then, like, in his, like, young, uh, young, um, what am I trying to say here? His, um, schooling or whatever for, you know, business management or whatever... CEO business management, he gets kidnapped or something, taken to the Himalayas, trained with Ra's al Ghul, and then bring him back so he can, you know, start his Batman crusade. But I just, I get that they're wanting to go off Smallville for this thing, but it's just, I just don't see it. I just do not see it. Honestly, Gotham has gotten really bad. <laughs> it's gotten really bad. Like, in the beginning, it was good. But it's just, it's just going, it's just, mm, planes crashing. That's all I, that's all I can, that's all I can say. But, um, it's, it was, it was an alright episode. There were some times where I'm just like, okay, this is not, I mean, there were some cool aspects to it, but it was just like, eh, you know, I mean, it was, it was entertaining, it was something to watch, so I just figured, you know, I'd just go over some, you know, Gotham stuff, so. <gasps> Plus, I'm kind of running out of material, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll think of some other stuff, you know, as in, following, in, the coming, in the following weeks, you know. But uh, for now, this is all I got. This is all I'm going to leave you guys with. So, 
Um, if you guys watch Gotham, let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. If you guys did not, hit the dislike button, subscribe, and share. As always, guys, Crazy March Kid here. I bid you a very, very good day.